Aesthetically pleasing feed is essential for organic growth on Instagram. Let me help you achieve your business goals by teaching you how to design Instagram posts. The previous days I posted tutorials about how to create a logo and a Facebook cover. Check them out too after this video. Open a new document that should be a square. With rectangular market tool, make a square. Make a new layer and fill it with a color with paint bucket tool. Now duplicate it and move it to the up corner. With rectangle tool, make a square, press on shift for a perfect square. Now move your photo over the square. Click right and choose clipping mask. Ctrl plus T and change the width. Duplicate the square, move it under the photo. Click on rectangle tool and for fill choose none and for stroke blacken the bigger size. Now make a selection with rectangular marquee tool and with erase tool erase what's inside. After you deselect, make another selection and again erase what's inside. These steps are so you can make corners like these ones. Now with ellipse tool make a small circle. Duplicate it a few times. After that, select them from the layer section, duplicate them and move them. Change the black corners with another color, go to blending options, choose color, overlay. Now put some text. You can put a hashtag and write a small caption. The color of the text is the same as the color of the corners. And because my background is blue, I will give to my pick some shades of blue, go into image adjustments, color balance. Ok, so let's create another design. Duplicate layer, delete what you don't want to use anymore. Press on Ctrl plus T and drag its corners. Select all circles and move them to left, make them white and duplicate them 3 times. And of course, move them. Take care of the text, move it around. Make a rectangle with rectangular marquee tool, go to edit stroke. Now select the way I do because I'm really bad at explaining what I'm doing here and after that erase what's inside with erase tool. Don't forget to zoom it so the selection follows exactly the line of the rectangle. Take another photo, move it over the main rectangle. Click right and choose clipping mask, Ctrl plus T to make it smaller. Now it's time for the third design. Delete some layers.
the left rectangle, make it bigger and drag it down. Move your photo, click Clipping Mask, again make it smaller with Ctrl plus T. Make a circle with a lips tool, fill none, stroke white. Duplicate it. Make a wild rectangle with rectangular marquee tool, fill it with paint bucket tool and duplicate it. Move the text. Make a selection, go to edit stroke. Make another selection, remove what's inside with the erase tool to create this aspect. For the last two designs, add some shades of blue to their pictures. Go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. Also, add a logo in all your designs. If you haven't seen it yet, I have on my channel a tutorial about how to design this logo and how to add it as a brush. Also, you can check the Facebook cover that I did for this week's theme, Makeup Artist Business. See you tomorrow with a new tutorial.